It's the Sam Simon and its crew that are confronting the issues here, head on. Of course, there are days where it's a bit frustrating when you see uh, this overwhelming amount of nets that's out there, that there's still the fishermen going out and um, laying more nets. The Sam Simon's primary weapon in their fight against these gill nets is what they call a phantom ray. Ray is set for seven, eight meters. The ray's dropped into the water at a set depth and drags a grappling hook along the sea floor. When the hook catches a net, a thin breaker line attached to the ship snaps. This releases the ray and marks the net's location with a buoy. Sam Simon, Sam Simon, this is Viking. I can confirm we've got a net. I reckon there's a couple of tetraba in the water there. There must be six, seven carcasses of tetraba floating by us right now. I guess the deal is that they uh, cut the bladders out as quick as possible and throw the rest in the sea. Now we're gonna launch the boat and go find out whether it is a tutuaba net or a long line or any illegal fishing gear that is in these waters, and then we're gonna retrieve it. Can I come with you? Of course. Right. The Sea Shepherd team have managed to scoop up the remnants of that net, and we're on our way to find out what's in it. Surrounded by dead carcasses of tetuaba that have been mutilated, swim bladders taken out. They're everywhere. One, two. Well, it's tougher. Huh? Yeah. One, two. But the tetuaba are far from the only victims One, of these nets. And the nature of the sea, there could be anything in this net. We have been finding everything from sea lions to dolphins to hammerhead sharks. We saw, not too long ago, we saw a whale and was like, like almost like a, an hourglass for how much the net was strangling the, the whale like halfway through. So it really is a whole load of species that are caught up in this trade for the tortuaba, right? Like the net doesn't really distinguish who is going to catch. So whichever animal swims through, through these waters is, is sentenced to death. Oh, oh here comes the shark. Uh, oh, no. Oh, uh, really? hammerhead. Oh, it feels pretty soft. Is it still alive? Hammerhead. I don't think so. Can we open it? We are wiping out sharks from our oceans for their fins. Uh, in Asia, they eat shark fin soup, and uh, what happens is that a lot of fishing vessels catch a sharks, cut their fin, and then throw back their bodies. And finding a dead shark, a dead hammerhead in, uh, in these nets is really it's really heartbreaking. But the heartbreak here isn't reserved for marine life alone. As the Sam Simon continues its mission to remove illegal gill nets, the nearby fishing towns suffocate 